In this video, let me show you five amazing smart tools in Adobe Express to help you save time in your creative workflow. Whether you're working on social media content, presentations, or quick client mockups, these tools are fast, powerful, and beginner friendly. Let's dive in and learn more. Let's kick things off with Convert to GIF. Whether you're working with a short video clip or a slideshow, this tool helps you convert video to a GIF in seconds. To access the Convert to GIF feature, click the plus icon located in the left-hand corner of the screen, and then click Quick Actions. Here you can see all the quick actions available in Express, and in this case we want to choose Convert to GIF. And now we can drag and drop the video that we want to convert into a GIF into the area. This video is 20 seconds, which is typically too long for a GIF. So let's trim the video by dragging the right side of the handle to about the five second mark in the timeline. You can see I can adjust that to five seconds. Next, choose your aspect ratio. You can see under the layout drop down, you have landscape, portrait, or square. In this case, I'll leave it on landscape. Choose your file size. I want this to be high quality, so I'll choose high quality. And once that's finished uploading, I can go ahead and download the file. As a last step, I'll click the download button to download the GIF to my computer. Now that the GIF is ready, I can embed it into an email or send it along in a newsletter or event promotion. I could just drag and drop the GIF right into the body of an email and you could see that it's working as intended. Next up, remove background. If you've ever spent time selecting a subject in Photoshop, you're going to love this time saving tool. To access Remove Background, click the plus icon once again, and then choose Quick Actions. Select the Remove Background option, and then drag and drop the image right into the space. Express will automatically detect the subject or subjects in the image and remove the background accordingly, just like you saw here. Now you can download the image with the transparent background, add one of these preset backgrounds that are available in Express, or set a custom color by clicking the eyedropper tool and maybe sampling a vibrant green color to add as your background. This video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning platform with thousands of classes for creatives and curious minds. Juggling multiple tasks daily, it's important for me to maintain a productive schedule and work more efficiently. That's why I recently joined a Skillshare class on productivity taught by Ali Abdal. This class takes you through the principles and tools to boost productivity. It gives you a greater understanding of how to change your habits and utilize your skills so you can be more productive. Best of all, Abdal's class explores simple ways to take control of your time. This is just one of many great classes Skillshare has to offer. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, with classes and learning paths led by industry experts across film, illustration, design, freelance, personal development, and much more. And here's the great part. The first 500 people to use my link in the description below or scan the QR code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. Now let's jump back to the tutorial. With an existing project open, simply drag and drop the image onto the page. You can see I have an image here of hands holding a salad bowl. I'm going to adjust the size that I want, and this can be adjusted after the fact, but I'll make it a little bit larger and I'll place it in the bottom right hand corner of the page. With the image selected, you can see I have the remove background option on the left side of the screen. I'm going to click remove background and the same will apply. The AI will detect the subject in the image and remove the background accordingly. Next, let's look at how to use the remove object feature. This handy tool allows you to remove distracting backgrounds from a photo. Quick, easy, and right in Adobe Express. To access the Remove Object feature, once again click the plus icon in the upper left hand corner, and then choose Quick Actions. For easy access, let's choose Generative AI from the submenu, and then click Remove Object. Open the image from your computer, here's mine, motorbike.png, and click Open. You can see in my image, there are a couple distracting objects that I'd like to remove. First, this street post in the foreground and this sign on the right side of the background. Before painting over these objects, you can choose the size of your brush. Currently, mine is set to 40. 
I can increase that a little bit. Maybe let's set it to 70. I can zoom in and then I can paint over the objects that I want to remove. That's a little too large for the brush. So I'm going to decrease it a little bit more. Maybe go back to 40 and now I can paint over this post as an example. I'll get rid of that post. Simply just paint over it. Now before hitting remove, let's zoom back out and I'll zoom into the sign area to remove that. I'll decrease the size of my brush, maybe half the size to 20, and then I will paint over this area like so. I'll zoom back out, and as a last step, let's click on the remove button to remove both of those objects from the composition. Express gives you three options to look at, and you can see them on the left hand side. There's the first, the second, and the third. I think I like the second option the best, so I'll go with that. However, if you're not satisfied, you can click generate more to generate another set. And once you're happy with the result, as a last step, click keep to save that result. Want to spice up your text? The generate text effects tool lets you create stunning, stylized typography in just a few steps. Let me show you how it works. I have a digital ad open here in Express and I'd like to add a little style to the title. Let's start by clicking the title to bring up the text options menu on the left side. Next, I'm going to click on the effects tab to bring up the effects options and under generate text effects, I could choose from one of these preset options or I can click on the pencil icon to add our own custom text effect. Now, because this is an ad for lime soda, I'd like to convert the text into a lime peel texture. We could do that by adding our own text prompt in the left hand corner. I can add my text prompt in the prompt field, lime peel texture with water droplets, and then simply click generate to see what it comes up with. That'll take a few moments to generate, and then we can look at our options. Here's the first option. Here's the second. Here's the third. And finally, here's the fourth. I think I like that last option the best because it adds the best contrast. And if I zoom in, you could see the detail in the text effect. Last but not least, resize video. This smart tool is a game changer for repurposing video content across platforms. Let me show you how. To access the resize video option in Express, once again, click the plus icon and then choose quick actions. I'll click on the video option in the sub menu and then choose resize video. I'll drag and drop the video file to open it in Express. I have a landscape video of a content creator and I want to share the clip as a square post for Instagram. On the right side of the screen, I could choose the platform I want to share it to. In this case, I'll leave it on Instagram and I'll set the aspect ratio to one by one, which is 1080 by 1080. I can adjust and reposition the content by clicking and dragging it into position. Something like that will work. Again, you can also adjust the timeline. Currently it's set to 10 seconds and I do want the video to play out in full duration. So I'll leave it at 10 seconds. As a last step, I can click download to download it to my computer, then upload it and share it as a square post on Instagram. And there you have it. Five super useful smart tools in Adobe Express to speed up your workflow and boost creativity. If you found this video helpful, leave a like. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest tutorial content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.